You dream of a better life for yourself and your family. Be independent and start a career. Stay in the country or work abroad. You want to be the kind of woman you always wanted to be. One who could soar to the heights and be the woman of the 21st century. It was in 1998 when the TESDA Women's Center, or TWC, was established jointly by the Philippine government through the efforts of then-Senator Leticia Ramos Shahani and the Japanese government through Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA. Because it adapted gender and development as a national strategy, the TESDA Women's Center became a vital part of TESDA or Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, which is the Philippine government's primary institution in the sector of technical, vocational, education, and training, or TIVET. This ensures that gender issues shall be part of TIVET's strategy. And today, TESTA Women's Center envisions becoming recognized internationally as a center of excellence for women in the Asia-Pacific region by developing highly skilled and globally competitive women while improving their socio-economic status. This is the very essence of TWC's vision, mission, and objective. In order to realize these, TWC and JICA work in close coordination with each other. While a multi-sectoral policy-making body called the Center Advisory Committee, crafts the necessary policies and sets the directions of TWC. A significant project launched together with JICA was Project GREAT, or Gender Responsive Employability and Training from 2004 to 2007. This resulted to strengthening the gender capacity of TWC staff and focal persons, enhancing effectiveness of TWC training courses strengthening of one-stop service facility, as well as in performing its functions in policy formulation, information dissemination, and networking. The formation of TWC is a response to the growing economic and social issues women face in their daily lives. Poverty is on the rise in the Philippines. While the woman is still the center of the home, due to poverty, more and more women seek employment. Although nearly 40% of the country's total labor force are women, only 50% of potential working women find employment. Limited access to non-traditional technical vocational courses, inadequate social protection, and lack of promotion of women's welfare remain stumbling blocks to women's development. All the more, gender and development must be addressed in the Tibet sector. In order to provide a holistic approach to women empowerment, TWC employs a three-pronged thrust. Training, research and advocacy, and gender and development. The TWC training programs are registered under the TESDAS Unified TVET Program Registration and Accreditation System, or UTPRAS, to ensure that the trainees receive quality, relevant and employable skills, knowledge and attitude. A value-added feature of the training programs is the integration of the basic computer literacy and empowerment courses in the curriculum. Empowerment training includes gender sensitivity training, entrepreneurship development and work ethics, and values development. 
The regular six-month pre-employment skills training program being offered by TWC for free for the past eight years of its operations has now turned into competency-based training programs or CBT in accordance with the policy guidelines issued by TESTA regarding full implementation of CBT. The competency-based training is a practical approach to learning. Veering away from the usual classroom board lecture style, CBT puts emphasis on what a person can do in the workplace as a result of completing a program of training. The learning is modular, self-paced, and the curriculum is based on competency standards specified by the industry. After completing the program and undergoing competency assessment, the TWC requires the trainee to undergo national assessment and acquire certification in her chosen field of occupation. This program gives every trainee a taste of life in the real world, with the possibility of landing in the same job or in the same company after graduation. Nakatulong po yung training ko sa TWC sa pagtatrabaho. Tinuruan po nila kami doon ng mga pagbabakles ng makina, mga components ng sasakyan, uh, pagsuservice po sa mga electrical. Uh, sa training sa TWC ay actual silang nagtuturo sa mga trainees uh, para at may share nilang ma-develop ang kakayahan ng kababaihan. Sa test po kasi, direkta po silang nagtuturo kung ano pa talaga ang uh, matututunan sa working place. Kung baga kasi sa traditional schools, puro tsuri yung tinuturo. Sa TESDA, as a housekeeping sa course namin, diretsya ang tinuturo kung ano ba talaga yung importante pagdating sa trabaho. Uh, nagkaroon po kami ng um, basic knowledge tungkol sa, um, ayun nga, sa pagluluto. Kasi before, bago ako pumasok ng TESDA, wala talaga akong, wala talaga akong ideas kung Katulad ko, food prep, wala akong idea kung paano gumawa ng cake. Marami natutunan kundi dinevelop nila yung iba ko pang skills. Marami silang in-offer na training courses gaya ng gender sensitivity, work ethics, leadership, at saka entrepreneurship. And women establishing their own businesses. They made me aware of the other topics or subjects na hindi ko masyadong pinapansin pag nagbe-bake like yung financial and uh, marketing strategies, and uh, packaging design, and um, packaging materials. Opo, nakatulong po sa akin yung pag-aral ko sa TWC. Sa akin, sa pagnegosyo ng bakal, yung mga pag-welding, matututo ka kasi. Uh, their training and experience has given us uh, an advantage in getting them. Even though ang knowledge nila is only basic, but they could compete with the skilled ones. Every time we get TWC, we don't have to train them. We don't have to start from scratch. They already know the basic. Uh, they focus more on their hands-on system. At saka, ano sila, talagang magaling din sila sa pagdating sa trabaho. Um, efficient. They... They work well and they're honest employees. Okay, as trainees, they are very hardworking and they're very good at actually. And um, as an employee, they're very competitive and very efficient. They're more prepared, more efficient, especially in production work. Yes, I would definitely recommend your students to other companies. TWC's Kasanayan Kabuhayan One Stop Service or KCOS is a resource center and referral facility for new and existing micro-entrepreneurs and job seekers. It gives access to training, even in obtaining capital and credit facilities. Research addresses the two-pronged objective of improving training and formulating policies that will enhance women's socio-economic status. It continuously publishes materials to meet these objectives while dissemination, popularization, and utilization are functions of advocacy. These and other materials are readily available in TWC's Information Resource Center, which provides a conducive learning environment for the trainees.
its e-library ensures access to most recent or updated information. Gender and Development, or GAD, mainstreaming in the TVET, is focused on building awareness on gender equality. Only in this way can women be encouraged to take up vocational education and training in courses which are known to be male-dominated. In just a decade, TESDA Women's Center has assisted more than 5,000 women. It has also trained women across the Asia-Pacific region, while it has sent trainers to further their skills abroad. Mas moderno yung mga ginagamit nila mga tools at on-hands training talaga lahat. Ay masaya, maraming challenges at napaka makabuluhan. They, they prepare us for, uh, for leadership and for future entrepreneurs. Uh, mga programs nila ay talagang uh, incisive at very um, comprehensive. Ito yung malinis, maayos, tahimik, well-disciplined ng mga trainees. Ewan ng mga pasilidad, very conducive for learning, and very professional ang aming mga trainer. Ine-emphasize nila dito yung uh, women power. Talagang tinataas nila yung moral ng kababai. As the nation's primary center for the working women, TWC responds to national emergencies in cases where women are in dire need of technical and moral support. But gender and development is not the sole responsibility of TESDA, nor of TWC, but of society as a whole. For this reason, TWC encourages and promotes partnerships and linkages with various organizations. To strengthen its research capability, TWC works hand-in-hand -hand with the academic community for resource and expertise sharing. Networks established with government and non-government organizations, the private sector, and more importantly, with women's groups, enhance sharing of appropriate technologies, enterprise development programs, and marketing strategies. And to reach out to the greater public, to both women and men, TWC partners with the media for extensive coverage of women's issues and interventions for women. With all these institutions working together, Filipino women will, indeed, have a brighter future ahead. TESDA Women's Center encourages all women to be part of societal development and for women to avail themselves of the opportunities the center has to offer. If you are between the age of 16 and 50 years old, at least a high school graduate, then becoming a scholar is as easy as just walking in and signing up. TWC receives subsidy from the Philippine government to fund its training programs, making it absolutely free for trainees. Pwede ka ba mong libre ang training? Opo, libre po ang training namin dito. Ang binabayaran lang po yung miscellaneous fee para sa uniform, insurance, at saka sa ayun. Tamang-tama po, meron kaming daycare para sa inyo. To make the center truly women and mother friendly, it is equipped with a dormitory and a daycare center. It is equipped with modern and updated facilities. Its function rooms, spacious, and named after the country's heroines to further inspire the trainees to aim high and become proud citizens of this great nation. Indeed, the vision of TESDA Women's Center of becoming a leading national resource center for women technopreneurship is fast becoming a reality. Because TESDA Women's Center is the symbol of women's right to nation building.
By enhancing not just the skill but the potential of women, TWC continuously contributes not only to our country's national development but in achieving equality among men and women, not just within the boundaries of our nation but in the world. <laughs>